so I just watched a post, a TikTok post, of a woman who um, said everything that I'm thinking, but I've never shared. And um, I, uh, it's about being older and being single and not having children. It's pretty hard. It's harder um, to say. And wow, you can really see the pain in this woman's face. She's probably spent so much time denying her biological need as a woman. And this is what happens, ladies. You believe the hype, and then you get to a point where you just feel like you're in a, such a small space and you just barely fit into it. And everybody else that you know is enjoying life with children and all these type of things. But you had to stick by your guns and say, no, I'm independent. I'm going to do my own thing. I don't need children. Biology is something that you cannot escape, ladies. You need to pay attention to that. <laughs> Women. And I never speak out about it. Um, it's a difficult thing knowing that you're living this life without children and without anybody there. I'm single. Um, dating has been tough. And um, being in a relationship is extinct. Uh, a little while back, a few weeks ago, I suffered a mild heart attack and I had to take an Uber to the hospital, to the ER. And being a nurse, um, I had a feeling it was a, a heart attack. Um, and it was the worst feeling in the world, sitting there on the curb, waiting for an Uber to come and pick me up. I didn't think I was going to make it. And it was just disheartening to not have anybody there but an Uber driver to take me to the ER. I'm glad that you're okay and I'm glad you survived that situation. Um, but at the same time, I got to say, the reason why you were sitting on that curb and sitting by yourself is because of the choices that you made. You chose that life. When you choose to be alone and you choose to be independent, that's what it means. Independent of men and in, independent of support. You don't even have children that you could have called to come to your aid because you were probably spending a lot of your time focusing on you, focusing on money focusing on looking pretty, focusing on parties, etc., etc., etc. This is the price that you ladies are going to pay if you keep playing around. This is what's going to happen. Once you get to this point, there's no turning back. You can't turn back the biological clock. Um, so, let me go back to the post that this woman made, and it was about being older and alone and suffering mentally with this of being alone not having children and just the woes of it all it's like I go to work I do what I have to do to survive and it's a struggle just to to wake up every day knowing I'm going to work just to pay my bills and 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 then what like I'm struggling with this every day I'm getting now if you would have asked her this 20 years ago she would have said she's just fine and she loves her singledom and she loves being independent she loves her freedom older um my health has failed me and Who's going to be there for me? I feel like 
us women who were in the same boat, and there's a lot of us out there, I know there are. I just want to hear it because I feel like sometimes I'm alone in all of this. And I would like to know that there's other women out there who are in the same boat. And there's a lot of women in the same boat as you. Stupid. And I think you know that. I don't think you need to ask the question. Is there a lot of women out there in the same boat? Yes, there are. Um, there's a lot of women in that same boat, but they actually have children. So you're even at, a, at more of a deficit than they are. Because there's a lot of women out there that are single in their 50s. They got a divorce or something like that. They might not have ever gotten married, but at least they have children. They have grandchildren. You know, at least they have that. But I, I can't even imagine how it must feel to be in your 50s as a woman, have no children, never been married, and just feel completely alone. It doesn't matter how many pets you have. They're not human beings. They're not. I love pets myself. I love animals. But they're not human beings, and they will never be able to replace human beings. But I can only imagine how she must really be feeling, especially after having that type of scare. I mean, it, it definitely will make you wake up real quick. And, gosh, I would love to get a commune or, or just get a bunch of women together. Um, I've wanted to buy land. I mean, it's so astronomical right now to buy something the, the the prices of of land here in utah and homes it's just astronomical i can't afford it i can't afford it and i would much rather be with a group of women anyhow who have like minds and come together and um build something together so she wants all the lonely women like her in her situation to go buy property and all live together like a cult that's what it sounds like that's crazy if you are a woman and you get to this point where you start feeling like this and you need to reach out and try to build a, a population of, of women that are in the same situation as you that's pretty sad and I don't think you're going to find as many women that are in her situation that don't have children as the opposite of that. You know what I mean? So I think that even if she got into like this community that she builds with all these women, a lot of those women will have children and that will cause her to cause her to be very envious and very jealous. And then it would be problems with that. Not only that, women can't typically cohabitate in the same places, uh, same place rather for a long time. They don't know how to delegate. They're emotional. They'll start arguing, uh, bickering, jealousy, all those type of things. So that type of situation um, isn't going to work. I would love to do that. And I'm a nurse. I can go anywhere and I'm willing to. I just, I really, I've been challenged um, lately with uh, these thoughts of, being alone and like that woman said and I wish I could stitch her video but I'm kind of an ignoramus and I don't know how to do that so I'm just hopefully she'll find me on here but um I'm there I'm with her and uh I'd like to hear from more women to hear if you're going through this too because I feel so alone well, you know what? You said that you were a nurse and you could go anywhere. Maybe you're a traveling nurse. From my personal perspective, perspective, I don't know what it is, but it seems like a lot of nurses, nurses, a lot of nurses are pretty out there. That was easy. Pretty sexual. Maybe it's the way that they deal with a lot of stress that they go to, go through or something like that, but they're out there, they're active uh, with men and all of that. And if you know, you're a woman that travels for work and all that, that's another red flag for men. Men don't like that. Any woman that's gonna travel, she has opportunities to do things in all these different places and men wouldn't know about it. It's kind of like the Las Vegas effect 
every time your woman walks out the door. So I'm sure that that has played a, a big part in why men never wanted to um, commit to you. I can tell that, you know, you're in your 50s, but I could tell that in your younger years, you, you know, you, you looked pretty good. Um, and you probably just, like I said before, wasted a lot of that time doing absolutely nothing but focusing on what you wanted to do. I feel so alone. It's like you wake up every day and go to work and is that what life's all about? I don't know. Yeah, it's the life you chose. It's the independent woman life that you chose. You chose that you are, you know, you're not entitled to complain about it now. It's what you chose. You didn't choose to have a family. You didn't choose to have children. You didn't choose to build a legacy. You chose to be independent. You made your bed. You have to lay in it, sweetheart. That's just all it is to it. All my friends have their lives and families and I don't have anybody. What do I do for the holidays? I'm alone. I'm alone. I have been for a long time and I'm kind of over it. So please reach out. Let me know what everybody thinks. I was kind of afraid to post this video, but after watching that video, I kind of felt more empowered and, and I hope that we can empower each other and and um, help each other out. So, there you have it. Let me know. No, that's exactly what you wanted to do. You wanted to post this video so you can get sympathy. That's all. Not once in this video did I hear her mention anything about self-accountability. Not once. What are the reasons why you are by yourself and don't have children and never have been mar married? What are the reasons for that? What are the reasons you had a heart attack, you're sitting on the curb waiting for Uber, and there's nobody there to come to your aid? Why is that? See, women love to gloss over what they did to cause them to be in the situation that they're in. They very rarely want to acknowledge what they have done. But they want to skip over to the glossy part. How do I feel better? Well, the first thing to feel better is to acknowledge your part in your situation. You created this. This is what you wanted. And until you are honest with yourself and figure out exactly what it is, and just say, hey, I messed up, it is what it is, I made the bad choices, I did the wrong thing, until you can do that, you're never gonna find that happiness, that peace that you seek, because you won't acknowledge your part in it. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.